pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And then in silence, please. Thank you all. This meeting is called, has been called to in accordance with the provisions of the Open Public Meeting Act. And an announcement, an announcement of the same will be mailed to the local newspaper and to the court of the borough of Belmont. And that the minutes of this meeting will be available after board approval at a subsequent meeting. We'll call Commissioner Lynch. Here. Commissioner Orchard is absent. Commissioner Sharrick? Here. Commissioner Ramey is absent. Commissioner Casserly? Here. Commissioner McCracken? <coughs> Commissioner Misano is absent. We have a quorum. Okay. Um, we have, uh, I guess, the budget is going to be introduced. Yes. Uh, our fee accountant, Tom Furlong, is here tonight to just go over the budget with you, and then we'll move for introduction. Um, you want the... Um. Can we just get the attendance again? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Lynch, the ones that are absent are Orchard, Ramey, and Misano. Misano. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, so I am here tonight to introduce the uh, budget for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2025. It starts October 1st. Uh, again, uh, as Amy just mentioned, tonight's an introduction. It will go down to the Department of Community Affairs for their review. They have 45 days to return it, at which point we will uh, adopt it at our, uh, at your October meeting. I anticipate, since it is a surplus budget, that uh, it will be returned without any uh, requested changes. Uh, just to give you a couple of highlights on the budget, uh, our revenues for the year are uh, 507700 That's up about 2% from the prior year. Uh, just a couple of items uh, on the budget. We have uh, interest income increasing from 2,500 to 8,400. Everybody knows uh, interest rates are up, so as a result, we've been able to get a little bit uh, more interest on our dollars, so that'll uh, uh, go up uh, a substantial amount. And then our HUD subsidy, we are expecting a very uh, small increase to the upcoming year. Hard to forecast because with the uh, big election. Uh, in November, we're not sure what the uh, budget will be for 2025. So at this point, we're expecting the uh, amount to be pretty much the same as we got for 2024. Uh, so again, overall, it's a 2% increase in uh, revenue. As far as our expenses are concerned, uh, our total expenditures for the year are 455,030. That is less than a 1% increase. It's like a 0.5% increase. So pretty much. Uh, the same expenses that we have for 24, we will have for 25, and that's you know very good considering the fact that, that you know we have a little bit of inflation, so we don't really anticipate expenses going up. The only items that we will see that are uh, an increase is insurance, because insurance is just uh, in the uh, our insurance policy has gone up, our insurance premiums I mean have gone up, so we are probably going to see about a 10% increase in insurance, but everything else will stay within like a, a couple of percent. Did want to make a point that uh, our employee benefits dropped because of uh, the coverage change in uh, for one of our employees uh, uh, decreased. So as a result, our uh, benefit costs decreased about uh, 15 percent. So that was, that was a good thing. Um, as far as the overall budget, our surplus is 52,670. Last year it was 43,490. Uh, we've also included in the budget a capital expenditure for the brick facade of about $350,000. Um, so overall, our surplus at this point is uh, uh, overall is uh, $2,837. Uh, that number will be a, little, a lot higher as a result because we have the facade budgeted for 930-24, uh, which we didn't spend. So we're carrying that over to 930-25. So, Actually, that 2008 will be about 300,000 will be our surplus. So, any items come up, we will have enough money to uh, pay for those. Um, so, that's it as far as the budget. If there's any questions, I'll take those now. Otherwise, like I said, it is a surplus. So, uh, 
it should go down without much uh, incident with the state. Uh, Tom, the one the one line item that I think we're it's probably going to go up is the electric because JC L got a, a hefty uh, rate increase this year. Okay. Okay. So just so we know, uh, we base you know that's not a projection. We have to use HUD's forecasted numbers. So we we uh, we put in whatever the forecast is, whatever their increase is. And then if we do overspend on the budget, then the next year we'll go in and ask for additional money. So it's, not, it's not, we're always a year behind that with uh, utilities. So if they increase, just like if they decrease one year, it's nice we have a surplus on our budget, but then we got to pay it back the next year. So because that funds utilities dollar for dollar. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Thanks for the last comment about the funding that we'll get from a HUD subsequent to spending. I think that clarifies a lot of con a concern on my part, at least. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, with that said, do I have a motion to introduce the budget? I'll make it. Second. Commissioner yeah. Lynch? Yes. Commissioner Sharrick? Yes. Commissioner Casserly? Yes. Commissioner McCracken. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. You're welcome. I'm glad I came. Mm-hmm. See, we have This is the resolution, right? That the Housing Authority budget introduced. Oh, uh, we just did that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so you can move on. Okay. Uh, approval for the beds for July 1st. So moved. Yeah. I'll second. Mm -hmm. All right. Commissioner Lynch? Yes. Who was here last month? Was everybody here last month? Except, no, uh, Randy. Uh -huh. Except Ms. Uh, Commissioner Sharrick? Yes. Commissioner Casserly? Yes. Commissioner McCracken? Yes. Okay. And then approval of executive yes. minutes. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Approval of okay. executive minutes. Do I have a second? Yes. Commissioner Lynch? Yes. Commissioner Sharrick? Yes. Commissioner Casserly? Yes. Commissioner McCracken? Yes. Okay, review of the um, bill. Does everybody check that out? And are there any questions? Anyone? And we'll make, make a move to approve it. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Commissioner Lynch? Yes. Commissioner Sharrick? Yes. 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 Commissioner Casserly? Yes. Commissioner McCracken? Yes. Okay, any reports from the executive director? Okay. Thank you, Carolyn. Uh, present time, the, the building is full. We have no. Uh, empty units. Uh, we're just finishing up the, all the work on the elevator. There's a couple items left on the punch list. One being the railing around the interior of it. And uh, they were scheduled to put that in about 10 days ago and some uh, the company, they had death in the family, so they postponed it. Uh, the latest, it'll be a week from Friday to come in and put the railing in. Uh, we also need an exhaust fan connected, and there's one panel that's not flush to the wall, the front panel, and they're going to have to come back and adjust that so it's flush to the wall. But other than that, it seems to be working fine. I understand we had a power outage on Saturday, and uh, the backup generator kicked on, and, and the elevator continued on. So we had our first test of it, yeah. That's great. Mike the Super was in here at the time. That's great. But I was happy to hear that. Uh, as far as the brick facade, once they release the funds from HUD, the emergency funds, then the engineering firm will put the project out for bid. There were some modifications to it. And then hopefully we'll get at least one reasonable bid back and we can then begin proceeding on the outside on the facade. 
Stage one, in case people forgot, is basically to attach channels all the way around the building to reattach the brick facade to the building. And then once that's done, then we look and see what, what resources we still have and begin to plan for the panels on the uh, channels. Uh, but I don't anticipate being the whole building in one year. We may have to request funding over several. Uh, the federal funding that was secured from this from Congressman Smith, we're waiting for the official approval letter, which will also mean who our contact in HUD would be for the project. So until we get that letter, we're just waiting in limbo to find out. Uh, they, had, they had told us it is a long process. It's eight to ten months to get once the appropriations are approved back to the money. So it's not unusual. Uh, I think that's all I have to report. Okay, and any old business? Any new business? Uh, we have consent agenda items, two resolutions for adoption this way. I'm pretty loud. <laughs> she said she's pretty loud. <laughs> uh, two resolutions on for introduction and adoption tonight. First one is resolution certifying the annual statement for the 2024 capital funds. And the second one is resolution to deny request to be included in the Borough of Belmar's affordable housing plan. Unless anything would like further discussion on the, either one of those resolutions, it is on consent agenda. So if somebody would like to make a motion to approve those. I'll make it. Second. Commissioner Lynch. Yeah. Commissioner Sharrick. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Commissioner Casserly? Yes. Commissioner McCracken? Yes. That's all the new business for tonight. Okay. Um, any reports from the commission? Any reports from the commission? Just said on the Okay. Uh, any remarks from the general public? Yes. Tom Volker, 527 8th Avenue, Belmar. Uh, I, I can't imagine what, how frustrated you must be uh, getting this money from, uh, which it was in the newspaper a while back that Chris Smith was helping us, which I thought was fantastic, but, it, you know, show me the money kind of thing. I, I don't want somebody to get hurt out here, uh, and I know you don't. So maybe somebody can put some extra pressure on Chris Smith to uh, help us like he tried to. Um, that's, that's it for me. Tom, I... I uh, it's a process, right? Yeah, it's a process. It is a process, but in terms of, of the danger, the scaffolding pretty much eliminates that. It was designed to take any portion of the wall that would collapse it would take the full load. So, as long as we have the scaffolding up, I think people are safe around the building. That, that may be a false uh, feeling of safety. I, I could just say, well, I, I understand there was an instance where uh, somebody's friend was climbing the scaffold to get into the ceiling. It's amazing that the kids aren't uh, using it uh, in some way. Uh, I, I, I really We're think it's more dangerous than you think it is. <coughs> well, okay. thank you for Appreciate well, whatever you could do. All right. Thank you, Tom. Yes, sir. Um, Maria, your uh, Belmar Council liaison. Um, I know you have um, a, uh, that you are making a resolution. I just wanted to let you know that we are not, the borough is not requesting um, to have, we're, we're, we're not continuing to pursue uh, the BHA in, in being part of the affordable housing plan either. I think um, we understand that, Maria, but yeah. we also wanted to make it very clear. Absolutely. Um, also, I've been in touch with NJ Dot. Has uh, uh, Paul, have you heard anything as far as the crosswalk yet? No. So the last that I've heard, um, they were still in development. 
of a of a plan of a design, um, and they said that they would were going to finish that at the end of the summer. So I put a call in today, um, and I'm, I'm hoping to hear back from Sandra Poku um, from NJ Dot um, because at the current moment, the construction anticipated is in 2027, and that's just not good enough um, for having a safe crosswalk. Um, so I'm going to, with your permission, continue to advocate um, for that to be moved up. Yeah, absolutely. Maria, if you want to talk to me after the meeting, we did something similar in Manasquan. Okay. I can give you a little bit of... That'd be great. Thank you. There was one other item I wrote down and forgot to uh, bring up. Uh, one of the people running for borough council uh, wants to hold a meet and greet with the residents, uh, coffee and donuts, and she proposed uh, Saturday, August 24th from 9 to 11. Uh, so anybody that's interested or has questions uh, can come and, and do the meet and greet. And of course the candidate running against her will also be invited to come. Who was it please? Who is it? We made names. Jody Kenny. She's incumbent. I, I thought that we weren't allowing anything political mm -hmm. as far as politicking here. Well, it's, it's not politicking. It's a meet and greet. She just wants to meet with people. And if anybody has any questions, they can ask. It's not an in, not an endorsement. Yeah, it's not an endorsement or sponsored. I have a question about that. Okay. Because even though we would be all inclusive with the number of candidates running, we're still using the facility to foster political campaigns for those individuals who choose to pursue that. And I was always under the impression that we were a neutral organization. We are. And I would like to think we can keep it that way. Have we done this in the future? The mayor has the mayor has come. That's true. The mayor came and yes, met with the right. residents. You're absolutely right, I remember that. Hmm. But there was not an active campaign at that time, was there? Which which man are we talking about? Well, he was elected. Well, he's he's performing a duty yeah. as a representative from the, the council would. I, I would like to think that we would remain above the fray in this. All right, if you want, I'll get a legal opinion. Not a subject to bring up with me, Paul, <laughs> because I'm still waiting for a legal opinion. For participating in, in a procedure that we had undertaken a month ago. Maybe you can uh, want me to elucidate on that? I asked you to pursue with the attorney several times. I've never gotten an answer about participating formally last week, uh, last month in the voting process related to what we eventually undertook tonight. I didn't get an answer then, I haven't gotten an answer till now. And I purposely chose not to bring that up until we reached this delicate point now. All right. Well, if you remember, he was unavailable to come to that meeting and give an opinion, but I'll get the opinion for it. That was after the fact. You told me he was on vacation. Yeah. Because I had approached you prior to that in regards to a, a response to prepare for that meeting last month. That's my, to the best of my recollection. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, uh, it, I, I was a little confused. Did you say her opponent would also be there? That's what he said, both. So both of them will be there. Okay. I, I, I don't think. think no, he there, said he would be no invited. Plan on that. There's no plan on, on, on that. No one has invited. Um, the other candidate to a donuts and coffee here at the BAJ. In fact, in, in speaking to the other candidate, it's been known that we don't do anything political here in the building. Okay, then Paul, you'll handle that. Uh, Paul will handle that then. Just Thank be you very much. Okay, no problem. Agree with everybody? Everybody in agreement? Yes. Yes. Anybody, anyone else? Any other questions? Mm -hmm. 
make a move for adjournment. All second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.